Despite widespread disruptions from undersea cable outages, internet service providers have been taxed with exploring diverse routing paths for submarine cables and investing in independent data transmission pathways. This directive was issued by Gabriel Idahosa, the president of the Lagos Chamber of Commons and Industry, during a conference on building resilience and the impact of recent West African subsea cable cuts in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Lovo Yedekun was there and now reports. These stakeholders and members of the Science, Energy and Technology, SET, Committee of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI, are seated discussing ways to avoid a repeat of the March 10, 2024 undersea cable cut that disrupted internet connectivity across Nigeria and several neighboring African countries. The undersea cable outage near Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire, plunged numerous nations into an internet blackout, crippling businesses, banks, and daily transactions. Speaking of the theme, building resilience, the impact of recent West Africa subsea cable cuts, LCCI President Gabriel Idahosa highlighted the urgent need to reassess and enhance the resiliency and efficiency of the region's technology infrastructure. We obviously need to invest much more in providing locally processed switching and transmission digital infrastructure to cater to transactions within our country. We want to look at how we can work towards creating an enabling environment that can attract payment technology guidance like Mastercard and Visa and our local operators to establish a cloud switching infrastructure within Nigeria. In his keynote address, Aminu Meida, the Executive Vice Chairman of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, highlighted the significant impact of subsea cables on economic growth across West Africa. The correlation between subsea cable connectivity and economic growth is well documented. According to a study by McKinsey Global Institute, every 10% increase in internet penetration can boost GDP growth by 1.3% in developing countries. The panelists unanimously agreed that fostering resilience and collaboration among all stakeholders is crucial for developing more resilient telecommunications services in Nigeria. So I think we need to begin to think about collaboration, cooperation, and start doing some health check on an emergency and so that recovery when such happens. Um, I would think we should do a lot more about terrestrial interconnection, particularly in taking traffic out of the country to other countries in the sub region terrestrially. We've got a lot of work to do. Um, one thing we're, we're doing by creating the right, the right optics, the right reputation by monetary policy, by meeting our international obligations, and a whole range of things to do improves the profile of a, a country to international investors. And that brings the foreign direct investment. The consensus is that government should create an enabling environment that incentivizes cloud and data center companies to establish infrastructure within Nigeria. This will be a measure to mitigate unforeseen risk. Love Uyidukum. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.